I'm Cienfue from Panama, and uh, I'm here promoting my new English album, Sunset Sesh. Um, I have I basically uh, had the opportunity to go to Berkeley College of Music and graduate in 2002. Uh, with a degree in songwriting and electric guitar. And my uh, focus has always been songwriting and just creating more songs. I have uh, a big catalog in Spanish. Uh, my first album was released in 2006, and I have over 65 songs in Spotify in Spanish. And basically, I just wanted to kind of like expand the horizon a little bit and uh, reach more people in English, uh, reveal another uh, face of the project because we've been bilingual in Panama since kindergarten basically uh, we're very tied to the US because of the Panama Canal and uh, and the culture so uh, we've always been uh, pretty much bilingual English and Spanish and uh, I'm really into also surfing culture going to a lot of these surfing spots everybody would always ask me to play something for them and I wouldn't have anything in English to play for them And I was just like, I need to make an English album, you know, to like build the repertoire a little bit. Well, uh, I have like Panama's music culture growing up in Panama, going to like uh, 15 años. A, we would get exposed to this weird, eclectic, uh, cosmopolitan mix of music in the 80s and 90s. A, we call Panama's culture like a melting pot or a sancocho, which is like a local blended soup. And uh, we have influence from all over the world in Panama. And uh, we would be listening in a to like the DJ and they will play you like a salsa by Willie Colon and, and the next song will be like a like a regga early reggaeton like we were just talking about a, by El General or Nando Boom and then they'll just like jump to like a Rolling Stones start me up or something like that so it's like a musical schizophrenia almost a, that if you grow up with it bye guys <laughs> It's almost like a musical schizophrenia that if you grow up with it, you have all these sounds in your head from different types of recordings and different styles. And uh, and it, that's always been in my head for a sound like Life in the Tropics. Uh, basically, we, we were doing like a post a live music electronic thing where like it sounds really electronic but most of the instruments are live there's like live drums but they're doing like an electronic pattern almost so it sounds like an electronic track but it's got like the soul of like real instruments yeah. well i'm really happy because we were really nervous before the first english release which was back in november 23rd a, the original mix of Life in the Tropics and uh, I was super nervous my first English release how would people feel about it would I get like a ton of hate or whatever I was like oh didn't sleep the night before you know it comes out tomorrow at midnight or whatever <laughs> and uh, but luckily like the fans reacted really cool uh, there's been a lot of uh, good vibes around the song people are really loving it even like a lot of new fans and a lot of the old fans so people are making like their own videos like in the in Panama like uh as tourists in Panama and stuff. And uh, I just really love the the vibe it has created and, and over 100,000 streams on Spotify in a couple of months too. Like super stoked. So thanks for all the support. Awesome. And when are you going to be playing here in LA? Uh, we're thinking about it. Let's see. Let's see what we can come up with. Right now we're only doing a, a media tour with uh, the music joint. And uh, we'll be here all week probably meeting and and going to interviews and stuff so it's really busy but we hope to be back soon with like a play at a festival or something for like dia de los muertos would be great yeah, thank you so um yeah i've just like ever since i started making music i've really loved the the technology aspect of it and how the different technologies change the sound like from vinyl to tape to digital now and uh all of since i started my, doing my music i've always had uh, little elements of uh of like electronic uh and samples even like a little sonic sonic logo that we used to put in all the songs that was like a transistor warming up and stuff uh, so i've always been really tied to the to the sounds behind the media and uh and this track has a lot of that a lot of tape saturation a lot of that type of sound and uh i've been really into more like electronic music now in spotify and that was what we were going for like let's play like like some of the tracks that i like that are electronic but we're actually playing it live oh yeah hey, f yeah follow me on uh instagram at cmfue and uh i actually answer all the messages myself so anything you want to send my way uh I'll happily answer personally and uh, also follow me at Cienfue on Spotify. 
uh, for all the new releases, we're doing one uh, monthly. So this Friday uh, is going to be a Sunset Sesh, and next April 12th is going to be Shining in the Dark, a new one. Thank you for watching, Muse. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on all the other videos you see to watch more of our content.